All right, welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our chronicle in Lyernia of the Lakes for Elden Ring. And last episode, I had said uh, basically there were like a few things that I listed that I wanted to check out, but I was indicating that uh, we were getting towards the end of this chronicle, might not even make it to Halloween. That's still true. Um, and that I just. Uh, I think you could tell I wasn't really exactly sure what else to do outside of like only two or three things I could name. Um, well, I thought of a solution to that, and that's just kind of follow fight and cowboys walkthrough guide for all of Liernia. There's plot probably plenty of things. I I just took a casual glance, and there were a whole slew of things that he was doing that um, I, I didn't even know existed in this in this zone. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is start off with uh, what I had said. I wanted to come check out this uh, little red area here. I forgot to look at the uh, comment that suggested I check out this red area to see if this was the area he was talking about. Oh, okay, I've done this. This probably is what he was talking about. Ravine Veiled Village. And I, I made it through the boss up here, and that's how I got out here to Abandoned Coffin. There's the Magma Worm Makar. That was the boss. Okay, so I've already checked this area out. And again, that might not be this, the spot that he was talking about. And as I said, I, I already forgot to go look at that comment okay this is just the base this is where the, where the climb starts alrighty then so what I want to do then well first of all I don't want it to be nighttime well we'll be traveling though mm-hmm okay so I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna bring up fight and cowboys walkthrough guide for Liernia and we're just gonna start ticking some things off that I haven't looked at yet so I will be right back Okay, well, the first thing that I saw is to is a weapon. There's a tree spear that we can get. We need to go to Lake Facing Cliffs. Uh, there we go. I had to actually get through some of the content because it's stuff that I have done. Uh, so I'm having to watch these videos for a little bit before I get to something that's applicable for me. And this was the first thing that I ran into. I am watching um, episode number 14 of his walkthrough guide, Southeast Liernia. I believe it's episode 14. Need to find little platforms that we can jump down. Might be over here. Might be those, actually. Oh, here we go. And... Drop to there. That could have been disastrous. Looks like to there. Made it. Okay. And then our target location is over here we'll kill these guys first go 
Uh, I didn't get a piece of armor. One more chance right here. Ah, bummer. Okay. Really want a new headpiece. All right, this giant um, was pulling this carriage and it looks like they got waylaid. And the carriage contains the tree spear. take a look at this bad boy it's gonna be in the spear class there it is right there oh it's a dexterity item has sacred order as its special weapon art Use the weapon art because I don't have the stats even two handing it. And that's not uh, the direction I want to go anyhow, but uh, there we go. I got it for any future respects I might want to do. All right, guys. I'll put you on pause and I'll see what's next. Okay. <clears throat> next part I had to watch quite a bit so hopefully I get this right but uh, he comes up to these ruins now I've already got the main thing that's here which is a talisman but it indicated that there was a shabriri grape and I don't remember if I got the second shabriri grape or not but after that he goes I think it's right here it might be right here I'll have to Look at the, that's the next part of the video we're gonna do. And then he comes up here and, and grabs this, uh, this uh, gray site. So we'll just start from that gray site since I already have it. We'll go clear out some soldiers, double check where I've already picked up the talisman and see if there's a shabriri grape there oh we have an opportunity to read about lore is there someone around me no this marks oh yeah i've read this millennia southward march the blade of michaela and her clean rot knights grant her wings never to be clipped and uh, do we have another lore message over here, perhaps? No. Okay. It is nighttime. Maybe we'll run into a nighttime boss. I'm not really running anymore. It's just that if, if my main purpose is to clear a zone, I'm not looking to engage them either. But now that we've pretty much cleared this zone, I wouldn't mind. Gotcha. Oh, OK. 
Yeah, man. I saw I saw that body move and thought there was a guy right behind me. All right, what did I pick up? Cuckoo Glintstone. Bolts. I think there was something I saw glowing over here. Maybe not. I thought I saw loot. I guess not. Probably just saw the light reflecting off that rock. Okay, go back up here. Bolts. Bolts. There is supposed to be a little cellar. I might have to re-reference the video. Clear all that stuff out of the way, get clean sight lines. Oh, here's something. So there's at least one thing I missed before, because I have been here. I remember talking to that guy. Maybe I'm at the wrong set of ruins. Because I'm certainly not seeing a cellar. Uh, the other one would be this section right here. So let's go check that out. There should be some more guys to kill over there. Maybe I find a different headpiece. I would love that. Lobster. I never got hit by any of these lobsters. Okay. Well, doggone it. Let's not be stubborn about it. Uh, I'll put you on pause and I'll re-reference the video. All right. Uh, so it actually is a little bit tricky. Let me uh, re-reference my map. This is the area that he comes down to next, but this, the purified ruins where we were at, is the right spot. There it is. So I missed it amongst the clutter. Okay, so I have been here before and I did get the Shabriri grape, it was right here. Okay, so then um, I have to see what he does next. I'll be right back. Alrighty then, the next thing is the actual girl that accepts the Shabriri grapes. And we'll see if she is still there. Because I believe I've already given her that second grape, which means she probably moved to a different location. But if not, she'll be right here. Either in front of this wall or the next one down, I'm not sure which. No, it would be this one. All right, and she is not there. All right, so these areas are confirmed. I will fast travel up to here because that's where he's going to next. And um, I'll see you in a minute. 
Okay, well, he fights a nighttime boss, actually. And it's straight down this road. Let me see if I've got the... It's right here. That's got to be it. I'm going to... I'm not going to spend forever on this guy. He, there's an Ash of War, I think it's called Icy Spear, that he drops. But if I can't beat him uh, very easily, then I'm not too concerned about it. And for whatever reason... I, I don't like horse combat, so I'm going to try and face him without the horse first. It's just that I'm... I totally understand that that's, that's not the optimal approach. There he is. Knight's Cavalry. Let's clear this bear first. Hefty beast bone. Man, I can't believe I stayed out of range that entire time. Oh, I thought I could get it in there. I guess he has iframes also. Ah. Oh, that could have killed. You son of a gun. You're dirty. You're dirty. I see some of your little tricks. Ah, oh, man. Get them, man. That's the thing is some of this depth perception is kind of trash. It's it's meant to mess with you. Got 5,600 runes for that. Ash of War... Ice Spear. All right. Yep, 
Yeah, he had some fangs and some dips and dives where it's kind of going back to boxing. You have something called a shoulder roll that is a real good way to deflect like 90% of the opponent's punch damage. And he, he had things that made me think of shoulder rolls where if you're watching it as a spectator, you think, oh, wow, that dude just got clocked. No, he didn't. Why shut your doors to me? Am I barred from donning the crown of stone? I have to read that again, guys. Raya Lucaria, hallowed hall dedicated to the study of magic. Why shut your doors to me? Am I barred from donning the crown of stone? Oh, that's what I'm wearing. One of them. I guess there's three versions of this. Like those three paintings. Uh, man, that's very sad. So, are we... Yep, there's... There's the academy. This guy perished right here. What a sad story. We can push this forward to morning. And I'll pause you guys again. Okay, this next part, I need to check and see if I have a glint blade sorcery staff. Because if I do, it means I've already been here. I don't think I do. Okay, so there's also a cookbook. A Glintstone cookbook at this site that he's referencing. So we gotta go first to, I think it was to here. And then there's a a tower nearby but it can be a bit of a pain in the neck to get into he kind of just seems to rush it oh I don't see it maybe it was south He, he had to actually insert this part into his video, so he might not even be at the location. There, there's room for a bit of a screw up there in his guide. I'm not saying that there is one, and he's pretty good about not having them, so I'd be a little, honestly a little bit surprised if that were the case. But I'm not seeing what he what he talked about. Okay, so I want to put you back on pause. Okay. It is, I believe, he's at Liernia Highway North, and the tower is like right here. So let's go. Oh yeah, there it is. We'll give this a shot. Well, he just rushes right through. So I'm going to try and do the same. Get off! <laughs> my gosh, sometimes it doesn't obey my commands. Okay, here's the cookbook. And then 
and there's a sorcerer up top that we can get a stave off of. Assuming we don't fall off the edge. Carrion Glint Blade Staff. Okay. We can take a look at it real quick. Uh, I didn't see staves. Did I roll through it too quickly? And they're included in ranged. There it is, carrying glint blade staff. So I'm sure this one's better, but it looks like it ranks it as higher than the Azura Glintstone Staff. The Azura's Glintstone Staff. Critical 100. Uh, C Intellect. No, this one's better. All right, well, anywho, 52 Intellect required. Wow. The requirements on this one's a lot lower for not much damage drop off. Huh. Boosts Glint Blade Sorcery as a passive effect. At the end of the day, this might be a better staff. Anyway, it doesn't really matter for me right now. I will put you back on pause and I'll be right back. Okay, well, I might have found what we're going to spend the rest of the episode on. We are going to fast travel back over to here, Liarnia Highway North. And from this point, he marks... Hold on. He marks this area and then kind of, I don't know, maybe like this area. Maybe it's more like here. Anyway, it'll be easy to find. But we have our markers up and he says, uh, you, you want to head due east. That marker's gone? Yes, it is. Okay. So we're heading east, and we should run into a cliff. And then we'll turn towards our markers. And we'll just kind of blitz right through this area. There's going to be some enemies that throw poison. We don't even really have to stop and mess with them. I don't know if they throw poison. There could just be poison traps in there. Yeah. But we want this. Somber Smithing Stone Class 2. And now we'll just head back and you want to keep the cliff on your left and be watching because there's a place called Cliff Bottom Catacombs. Here it is. Now, I haven't watched any of his guide through this because I haven't done this before. This is uh, my first time in here. This is as far as I saw his guide right here. So we got, we got about 30 minutes left in this game to uh, discover what we're going to do here. How many runes do I have? Because I might want to pause you one more time. I have 12, 5... Uh, 10, let's just call that 31, 11, 10, 9, 3, 2, 1, 19, it's five trips. I am, I'm going to pause you, okay, and I'm going to try and level up. I'm going to go to the Field of Giants. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I have enough to level up. I haven't done it yet, 
I came by here first to find out if uh, I could level anything up as far as my armaments, and I could not, neither for the Colossal Weapon nor for the Uchi Katana. But I do remember that there was a sword that I could read lore off of, and let me see if uh, the magic's been diffused. It appears it has. Okay, remember there was a civil war here between uh, the forces of the Academy and the royal family of Caria Manor. And then it seems from one of the earlier swords we read, uh, Michaela came down and I guess Radagon, because that's that's how Ranala met Radagon, was he had come down here to settle some things. But it but Michaela also brought her clean rot knights, so I'm not really sure exactly all of the context of that. But this says the resting place of the contemptible cuckoos lost in the siege of Caria Manor. So I guess the cuckoos were the forces of the academy. And then you have the Carrion Knights. So we are going to fast travel back over to... Not Jarberg. Cliff Bottom Catacombs. We're going to level up. This is my first point going into strength on our march from 20 strength to 40 strength. So we should start to see our DPS pick up pretty noticeably during this uh, process. We also need to be moving endurance up to 40. Okay, so strength. Confirm. Yes. All right. Well, here we go then. All right, so we have an elevator. And those guys. Can I get that to activate? It appears I cannot. Oh, there's always one waiting. Get them. Can't get them targeted. All right. I do not trust this. I was like, I hear it. I can hear. There's another one in here. I hear the bugger padding around. I 
I guess not. Must be down here. Okay. Obviously we can't open that door yet and we gotta activate a switch. Aha! Uh -huh. Why can't I target you guys? I have not been able to target one yet. It's not working. Yeah, it's definitely not. Oh! There we go. I had that message up. Grave Glove Wart Class Two. Uh, this looks like a trap. I guess we're going to step into it. Oh, okay. There's just little haunting echoes all through these walls. Yep. I see you. Uh, did I walk over a trap? Pressure stone right there. Oh, man. There's that laughing. Oh, this is... Very haunted feeling. Oh! I got you first. <laughs> Taste my steel, sucker. Moon Axe, Warped Axe. Axe Standard War Cry. Great Axe Standard War Cry. Okay. Class 3 Grave Glove Ward. I'm not on my health potions. Oh my gosh. Get some space. Doot doot. Pop it. All right. Wow. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty nasty. All right, we can spend a stone sword key. Rune arc, nice. Got a library here. Interesting. Oh, I see you.
while. No. Okay, so I walked over another trap. I'm really bad about that. I don't think I've ever missed a trap that, that I hadn't seen before. I think I've always walked over them. do it. Three of them. It's a good thing I didn't have a whole lot of runes. Okay, we gotta call you back up. We're at 20 minutes, so that took 10. Dead gamut. You got me, huh? Oh, you got a big weapon. a lot stronger than I thought. Shit, how many cricket? How many hits does it take? This guy's next to death for the whole fight? That's a heck of a brawl, man. These guys are actually pretty good.
And I hear the sound of little feet pitter-pattering around. Maybe there. Oh, there's one of them. Oh, there's a second. Okay. Dang it. and a gray violet and me runes you can't have me shinies oh snap there you are I see another one Three grape glove wart, all right. Where did you even come from? I heard him walking around. Well, there's uh, that should be where the trigger's at. Did I just simply walk right by it? Am I missing something here? Is there a staircase or something? No, I haven't been down there yet. I think I got a drop. Dang it. Yeah, I guess I have to drop off that edge. I think I've been through all this.
Oh, this is the beginning. Okay, I dropped off. And then there was a staircase. Okay, right here. So I dropped off onto these stairs. I need to be able to get up to that level right there. Could drop down there, I suppose. Oh, there's something. There's a guy down there. Stupid. Oh God, where is it? <laughs> there. Class three. Ghost glove, glove wart. Oh, I see you. Pratting plate, wonderful. Prattling pate. Ho oh, ho. Okay. Then we will go through here. Oh man, another one roaming around. And I don't want to face him in that room because there might be those uh, stone guys also. He looks like I've already hit him. Yeah, come and get me. My goodness. I got you first, sucker. Okay, there were no stone guys in here. Nothing, huh? A ladder. Page. 
Page Ashes. Alright, well that was an interesting way to get over here. And we ain't done yet. I don't know if there's... You never know what's lurking around the corner. Aha! Uh -huh. rolled towards you that time. <laughs> Old Fang. Alright, I want to jump over here. And let's go see if we can open that stone sword key thing. Oh, I keep doing that. Oh no, I had to get rid of the message. Oh my God, can I get you farging targeted? You little minion. Nox Mirror Helm. I've been looking for a new helmet. It's better in just about everything except physical. Oh, it gives a heavy load. The poise is the same. Well, that's nifty looking. It doesn't go with the armor all that great, but... But it is nifty. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's too bad. What if I went back to... That's still a heavy load. Yeah. 47.3 of 67.3. 48. All right, well, no can do. How much do you weigh? 5.1. You are a full 7.5. That's quite heavy. And I believe it's vitality that will allow me to wear heavier stuff, but I just finished pumping up my vitality and now I'm working on strength, so... I can't wear that helmet. I keep thinking I'm hearing echoes. That's why you, you see me stop and listen for a little bit. There's a lot of echoes in this, uh, this dungeon. Well, oh, that's the timer. I want to give this boss at least a t one try. 
before we call it quits. And I'd actually like to give it a try with all of my potions on me. So we'll be fighting him twice, in all likelihood. But we won't be going like 83 fights and then me take it into an editor uh, to finish out this episode. We're just going to give it a couple shots. might be better for this one. Caden Sellsword Ashes. Was a relatively easy fight. The actual dungeon was tougher than that. All right, well, what a pleasant way to end an episode. Uh, in the next episode, we'll be doing the same follow on fighting cowboys, walk through guide for Liernia, and just picking stuff up that I missed. I uh, definitely want to complete the Shabiri Grape quest line before we close out this chronicle. Uh, I hope that I have understood things correctly, that it's not going to mess anything up with future quest lines unless I commit in the very, very last quest. And I also still have a little bit of confusion as to who conflicts with what and why um i know that the golden order and oh it's gonna be time to do some more rune runs for a, another level up too the golden order and ronnie are going to have a conflict with each other i'm not quite sure who shabriri is i think shabriri is with the outer god of chaos so there what i'm saying is that there may be three different factions at play here I, i'm a little bit mixed up on how all that interacts and i'm not trying to learn everything prior to seeing and uncovering this stuff for myself but i i do want to know enough that i don't mess anything up uh but but bottom line i I think it's really hard to mess anything up. You have to see these quest lines all the way through to the end, and they're very clear about, hey, you're going to commit to X. Are you sure you want to do that? Um, that's the impression I have. If I'm wrong about that, please let me know in the comments, you know, but uh, that's how we'll wrap it up. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods, and I will see you in the next episode where this story continues.